that it is unfortunate that this vehicle was carrying a poorly built battery all these scooters are using lithium ion nmc chemistry batteries do you believe that uh, nmc chemistry may not suit to indian weather conditions do you believe that somewhere these electric manufacturers are uh, not doing their r and d properly is manufacturing cells in india could improve the situation lfp batteries are better than nmc battery then why mostly those electric scooters companies are ignoring this uh, chemistry something is wrong somewhere that i can say uh, so sir do you believe that there is somewhere there is ignorance from government also sir what is the cost price difference between the lfp and nmc batteries what is asking and nobody is responding you get to a point what is the importance of cooling system to prevent the thermal runaways uh, so sir what are those question uh, which every customer has to ask from their dealers first before purchasing the electric scooter Hello viewers this is Manoj Pandey and you are watching Electric Pickles Viewers as we all have seen those viral videos in which we can see the branded electric scooters like Ola S1 Pro Okinawa and Pure EVs are catching fire and the reason we still don't know companies are saying that they are doing investigation but when this investigation will, will finish we still don't know now but customers are confused which electric scooter they should buy which electric scooter is safe for them and what are those do's and don'ts they should follow after purchasing an electric scooter for all that uh, reason to explain us all these things we have an expert and our guest uh, mr vikas broka ji so sir first of all welcome to our channel yeah hi uh, sir uh, would you please introduce yourself to our viewers Yeah, I am Vikas Broka. I am the founder uh, director of uh, my company, Electricita Energy Private Limited, and we are the manufacturers of Electricita brand of uh, batteries. We manufacture batteries for uh, all all kinds of electric vehicles. Okay. Yes. So, sir, uh, when you saw these uh, viral videos first, what was your reaction? Well, uh, it was quite disturbing. Hmm. to watch such uh, videos because being an insider of uh, the whole whole scenario uh, i've been working uh, under this uh, electric vehicle ecosystem for the last more than 2 years now yes <clears throat> we have been developing uh, our own batteries we have been doing a lot of research work we have uh, been doing a lot of r and d on this and uh, we have come to understand that it has it has to be a very specific and very sincere job producing a battery mm. uh, coming back to your point of burning vehicles burning electric vehicles uh, i would i would tell you <clears throat> there are just a few components in an electric vehicle like an electric vehicle does have a body and chassis it does have a, a motor to drive uh, the vehicle it does have a controller to con control that motor and then it has got one more component which is battery battery is the power source <clears throat> it is connected to a controller the controller that takes the current from the battery and gives it to the motor and it drives the vehicle and a, a small component which is called dc to dc converter which is a very small box converter so <clears throat> uh, when we see all these things and when we see a burning vehicle we go we get to understand very easily that what are the things that can catch fire and that can burn like that what we have been seeing in those videos and those uh, burning uh, pictures a chassis cannot burn by itself <clears throat> a motor cannot burn by itself a controller gets heated up at times but it cannot be burnt like that hmm. so there is just one one thing which uh, happens to be um, the battery which can catch fire and go up in flames like that it has that energy which is getting converted into the fire so the only thing that catches fire and that that brings the vehicle to uh, up in flames go up in flames is the battery so when we see a <clears throat> burning vehicle the first thing that it is unfortunate that this vehicle was carrying a poorly built battery it was having a battery let it be a but it was poorly built be it nmc be it lfp but it was a very poorly built battery uh, which can this uh, vehicle 
to go up in flames yes uh, sir i believe that all these scooters are using lithium ion nmc chemistry batteries do you believe that uh, nmc chemistry may not suits to indian weather conditions well <clears throat> you can say that the nmc batteries are not suitable for um, higher usage high usage in indian conditions let me go into a bit of detail on this nmc batteries when they they get operated when they operate there's a large amount of heat that gets generated a uh, large amount of heat during the charging during the discharging the temperature goes up to around 25 to 30 degrees more than the ambient temperature of the of of the vehicle of the atmosphere at that time so now if if the ambient temperature is supposed to be like 40 degrees 35 degrees and the vehicle is being driven at uh, the maximum speed it can attain be it 45 or 50 km per hour <clears throat> it is drawing a huge amount of current from the battery and deal that huge amount of current when it goes out of the battery it brings up the temperature of the battery or the cells to an extent which is around 25 to 30 degrees higher than the ambient temperature which means it may reach up to 70 to 75 degrees hmm. uh, within that within that uh, console of battery and 75 degrees or 80 degrees or 60 more than 65 degrees is quite high for those cells okay so let us understand this that those cells which are not supposed to be they are definitely harmful they are definitely dangerous and we have to understand that we should be either sticking to the lfp which is which is having a more higher thermal stability which is having a more higher thermal runway temperature so we should think to day for indian conditions okay uh, so sir uh... like uh, many customers are believing that existing battery technology cannot offer safety for first indians for weather conditions so especially in the summers do you agree with that we have two different technologies and two rather three different chemistries in lithium technology hmm. one is the nmc which uh, has nickel <clears throat> which has manganese which has cobalt oxide this is called nmc the other is lfp which is having lithium ferrous and phosphate now these two different chemistries are there they both emanate heat <clears throat> while they operate at their higher uh, you know stage now an lfp has a more higher thermal runaway which is close to 200 or 250 degrees celsius and nmc has a lower thermal runaway temperature which is around 150 degrees celsius so in indian conditions i would say <clears throat> if if we have to use nmc we have to have certain restrictions while producing the battery that the battery battery's temperature should be contained within that atmosphere firstly or otherwise if we cannot have that kind of uh, fantastically built battery we should be going to the lfp batteries which are Uh, more safer than nmcs sir do you believe that somewhere these electric manufacturers are uh, not doing their r and d properly i think they should be having more interest in their r and d more more uh, you know commitment towards their r and d uh, i won't say they are not doing anything they must be doing uh, it on their you know, you know uh, on their best capabilities but the industry demands more all right okay. if the r and d was done properly these instances would not have happened hmm. if the customer was educated aware properly these instances would not have happened if we understand that the temperature of a battery goes up while charging and if we understand that the of the battery goes up while discharging too we'll have a set of norms how we have to drive these electric vehicles an electric vehicle is the future an electric vehicle is there to stay with us and we should welcome it with open arms but 
we should be knowing what we should do and what we should not do while operating these vehicles. And the manufacturers are the first people who should make us understand, who should make us aware. So, sir, yes. uh, some electric vehicles, including scooters and bikes, are planned to launch with a range close to 200 to 500 kilometers in single charge. Do you believe that traveling that long distance in one stretch without any halts may lead to this thermal runaway? See, <clears throat> we have yet to understand how these uh, batteries are being made because a battery of a two-wheeler with limited constraints, with limited uh, you know uh, R&D work done on it, uh, which which happens to be, I'll put an example to you. If scooter which is running just 60 to 100 kilometers a day and uh, the battery manufacturers are not putting up their you know temperature containment plans into it how would you observe a vehicle going with the temperature rising because once you give the range to the customer <clears throat> the customer would understand that this vehicle would go to next uh, 300 kilometers without stopping. Right. But if the vehicle is going 300 kilometers or 200 kilometers without stopping, without giving any uh, rest to the battery, <clears throat> what will happen to the temperature being generated within that battery? So, sir, I have yet to understand what kind of temperature containment has been given to those vehicles which are going to be brought up uh, with, with such long ranges uh, for the customers. So, sir, are there what is the importance of cooling system to prevent the thermal runaways? Very important. If the vehicle is, uh, uh, you know, be prepared to run for 100, 200, 300, 500 kilometers, we need to have a cooling system within the battery. Okay. Because it is, it is very imperative to uh, have a battery. It we, we should be having a battery which, which has a very uh, higher thermal runaway, like an LFP battery, which has a higher thermal runaway of more than 200 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if the company is bringing up a LFP battery and giving us a range that it can go to such a so and so limit, it is good for us. It is okay. But yet we have to have certain, you know, uh, parameters like certain advantages and certain disadvantages of LFP are there. So we should understand what kind of cooling system, these company, companies would be giving in before they are launching it to be for 200 to 500 vehicles for two wheelers. Okay. See, four wheelers and bigger vehicles are having their own system of cooling, uh, you know, cooling the battery within the batteries. Yes. So we are yet to understand what kind of cooling systems are going to have for these two wheelers who are going to be launched for 200 or 500 kilometers as you said. Okay. So, sir, is manufacturing cells in India could improve the situation? Yeah, manufacturing cells in India and not the copy paste of what they have been doing in uh, the other part of the world. Manufacturing in India with proper R&D and manufacturing such cells which are good for our range of uh, temperatures, mm -hmm. our Indian conditions, if we are manufacturing such kind of cells, it will be most welcome uh, thing for each and every uh, you know person who is into this ecosystem of EVs. Sir, if LFP batteries are better than NMC battery, then why mostly those electric scooters companies are ignoring this uh, chemistry? They are using NMC more than uh, LFP. See, it is a part of research. Mm. And most of the two-wheeler companies who are bringing on their products, they are not manufacturing their batteries. They are taking the batteries for somewhere else from some, some, some other company, company A or company B or company C. And once they are into this process of getting uh, or they have made a vendor outside of their company, they understand that the company would have done their R&D well. The manufacturing company or the vendor company who is producing the battery has done their and uh, made a vendor for a battery, not for particularly an NMC battery. Okay. Maybe they are not knowing what is the difference between NMC or LFP. Maybe their R&D work has not been done on this perspective as on date. 
they they must have they must have gone to the extent that we need a battery so bring on board so and so companies and bring in four companies who will be providing providing us the battery with three year warranty because the government says it has to be three year warranty on uh, a lithium battery so they will bring on board all those uh, battery owners unknowing the fact that what kind of batteries they are using so i would say this ignorance okay this is ignorance okay so sir what is the cost price difference between the lfp and nmc batteries before we come to the cost there is one more thing okay uh an nmc battery has a more energy density yani energy storage density is more in an nmc battery and lfp battery has a slightly lesser energy density fine now <clears throat> there is a limited space in a two wheeler there is a limited space in a yes. two wheeler hmm. let's say 10 inch by 10 inch by 10 inch. there only this much space is there and in this particular space an nmc battery can be made to run for next let's say 110 km okay for that exact size an lfp battery would be made for only defect to 100 km okay so this range the short shortage of this range of 10 km would make uh, our um, vehicle makers vehicle manufacturers to understand that nmc batteries are better than okay lfp okay. batteries so they man they they, they always uh, nmc batteries itself out of ignorance mm-hmm. they don't understand what energy density storage means is so they are offering their customers only nmc batteries rather than lfp batteries okay so which is the- lfp batteries more safe more uh, life cycle is there and uh, a slightly lesser energy density is there. okay Yes. so in this race in this race of providing cheap electric vehicles and uh, to provide more range somewhere they are uh, not doing their r and d properly and uh, they are using cheap products see ola has not used any cheap product ola has made a fantastic vehicle hmm. only one vehicle has uh, got up to go in to go up in flames like this and um, Fifty thousands of vehicles, and just a couple of vehicles have go, gone up in flames. So it is not that every product is going that way. Mm-hmm. It is not that they have not uh, done their R and D. Only thing is that they have been slightly ignorant on uh, on this perspective of having a safe battery. Okay. Uh, so sir do you believe that there is somewhere there is ignorance from government also that they are not checking there is not any government body which can check their products like they are fit for our environment or not the main point is that the, this whole electric vehicle ecosystem is-